I'm not trying to say that Spider-Man is a stone-cold killer. I mean, there's a chance that he, by and large, doesn't aim for the window panes of skyscrapers as he's slinging around New York City. Perhaps he's able to deftly aim between the panes and hits the steel buckle right in the joints. Or when he's rolling through the Lower East Side, he just targets the painted bricks of tenements that sparkle the neighborhood. And not their frail, thin awnings. Alright, probably not, but more likely he's just carelessly slapping his web fluid all over New York City, and if he globs onto a window, he pays no mind to it. But think about it, how strong are these windows? It would seem to me that a random arachnid-empowered vigilante like Spidey, swinging up and down, tugging at a window with his spider-like strength, might be too much stress for even a triple-paned window. Wouldn't they break? At least after a while? They'd either tumble out of the building immediately, or after so much wear and tear, it would randomly break in the middle of the night. So I decided to look into it, and I know the New York City that Spider-Man inhabits isn't exactly the same as ours. It may very well have super-powered construction equipment. But let's pretend for the minute that our universes are very similar. If we take a look at the type of glass that's used in the windows of New York City skyscrapers, we'll find some interesting factoids. Did you know that high-rise windows use special glass that is specially heat-tempered to make them stronger? Did you also know that there is often a 6-inch gap between the panes in skyscraper windows? And that different cities have different laws governing the types of materials that can go into them dictated by the type of weather, ground tremors, and altitude that they're at. But in terms of whether or not Spidey could break a window or pop it out of its molding, we just have to look at one incident. There is one recorded case of a person running through a pressurized plate window on the 24th story of a skyscraper. The individual was 160 pounds, pretty close to Peter, and running about 5 miles an hour. He was able to bust through the window pretty easily, and later, in an episode of Mythbusters, they confirmed the story to be accurate. If a person is going 5 miles per hour, is able to break through the window, then of course Spider-Man swinging at the bottom of his pendulum would yank it right out. Right? It's not really a crazy theory to propose. Well, if we look in the comic books, I'm right. Spider-Man completely destroys New York City buildings with his web slinging. In issue 656, Spidey lost his spider sense and he wasn't able to effortlessly swing around New York City. The first time he tries to go for a spin, he latches onto the soft plaster exterior of a building, rips it out, and crashes into a police car. From that point on, he needs to mentally prepare for each cast of his web shooter, and he intentionally targets only the strongest parts of buildings. He also gets one of his coolest costume updates in a while, with a new spin on the Iron Spider suit. Pretty cool, right? But back to the main plot. When we ask whether or not window panes can really support Spider-Man's weight while he's swinging, the answer is no. They'd shatter, they'd break, they'd collapse, or any combination of the above. But... Unbeknownst to Peter Parker and to us, his spider sense had been subconsciously guiding his hand whenever he swung around New York, so it made sure he only clung to the strongest surfaces. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe if you're new here. Until next time, with great power comes great responsibility.